Welcome to Eye on Crypto, where we delve into the crypto flow and share the insights you need to know. What's up, guys? In this video, we take a look at the good, the bad and the ugly when it comes to Aptos. So is Aptos really the next Solana 2.0 and set to take the crypto world by storm? We'll be diving deep into the dark waters, revealing the challenges, controversies and pitfalls of this crypto, not just the good points. Transparency is the name of the game, and we're here to provide you with an unbiased view. So before we begin, we would really appreciate it if you could give that like button a gentle tap as it will only take a second of your time and helps us know we are on the right track. And also, lets YouTube know this is the kind of topic and unbiased information you want more of. So go ahead and activate that like button and let's dive in. Aptos was founded in 2021 by Mo Shake and Avery Ching, who both previously worked at Facebook. Aptos aims to build faster, safer dApps using a smart contract language called Move. This language is actually based on the same language used by Solana, called Rust. Aptos is also being termed the next Solana, or Solana 2.0. Now, just like with SUI, the technology used to develop Aptos come from the Facebook or Meta project previously called DM, and which was eventually put to bed as a failed project. So you can also check out our comparison video between Aptos and SUI later, but for this video we are going to focus solely on Aptos. So much of the Aptos technology and programming language is taken from Facebook's DM, and this can be confirmed in their white paper which I will touch on a bit later as we go over some other facts. Now, Aptos was probably one of the most hyped up launches of 2022. Despite the hype, Aptos soon faced criticism on Twitter and other platforms, and for good reason, which we will go over in just a minute. So coming from a platform like Facebook, Aptos should know a lot about scalability and their technology, although not brand new, this kind of layer one tech does have the potential to have a big impact on the crypto space. Another one thing I do like about Aptos, it's potential to not only scale, but be essentially future-proof. So Aptos is one of the few blockchain projects which allow smart contracts to be updated on-chain, which is something that Casper also enables, and we covered that in another video. But back to Aptos. So what we're really interested in here, apart from the technology, is the potential profit available for investing in this coin. Can we make money with Aptos? So let's dive into the tokenomics of Aptos. The native coin token ticker is APT and is used for transaction fees, staking and governance. However, that governance is limited to validators, of which there are not many. Something I will also touch on more later in this video. Initially, there was a supply of 1 billion coins. Now, if you include the community reserve, which is basically the same as the Aptos Foundation, then you find that almost 87% of coins went to the team and the wallets of those team members are potentially hidden from us, something I'll go into a little more detail on later. So, the current price of Aptos is at $7.68 at the time of this video and the fully diluted market cap is just over $7.8 billion and only 21% of tokens are currently in circulation. So these are definitely not what we might call favourable tokenomics from an investor's point of view. The remaining tokens, or coins, will be released into circulation over the next few years, potentially leading to massive dilution into and beyond the next bull run. So ATP has a current inflation rate of around 7% per year. The TVL, or total value, locked on Aptos currently is $42 million, far less than that of Solana at $318 million, but over three times that currently of SUI. Aptos raised more than $350 million with token sales in 2022 from venture capitalists, including Coinbase, Binance and FTX, as well as Three Arrows Capital, who also collapsed. So you may notice immediately there a potential red flag, but in reality FTX invested in hundreds of startup projects, as did Three Arrows Capital, and this really doesn't mean Aptos are affiliated with FTX at all. So no real cause for concern there, just something worth mentioning. However, where there is cause for concern is, none of these investors or the full tokenomics was ever actually available publicly until after Aptos started trading, which begs the question, was there some insider deals going on before the token launch? Another possible red flag is, it has been extremely hard to try to track the team's wallets. In fact, we were unable to do this, something which is not usually too hard to do, and something of which there should be no reason to keep private, unless there was a reason to hide these fundamental tokenomics from public eyes. There is actually very little at all about the team and their info available. In fact, much of their website, including the all-important white paper itself, 
is actually quite vague. Apart from a large amount of information and technical jargon regarding the coding language, where Aptos seems to overly focus on explaining the Move programming language and further directing us to other external links on the subject, there is not a great deal about the project except for the usual scalability and decentralization claimed, etc. However, Aptos is still relatively centralized because there are only 100 or so validators. So despite their claim objective of seamless usability to bring the benefits of decentralization to the masses, true decentralization has yet to be achieved. The future adoption of Aptos is likely to grow as this is a relatively new project, and in comparison to Solana which has many more developers at the moment, the Move programming language in Aptos is easy to use, and many devs are indeed coming across to Aptos from Solana, this is largely due to the Move programming language which Aptos is taking much of the credit for, when in fact it is unclear how much of this language has since been developed since Facebook's Libra or DM language was created. In my personal opinion, Aptos from an investment point of view is somewhat risky and is highly overvalued right now, even though it is down over 60% from its recent high in January 2023. For me, an optimal buying price for Aptos would be at around half of its current price, not financial advice. So you might want to wait for a significant price decrease before buying any large amount of this particular coin. But that's just my opinion, so let us know what you think about Aptos in the comments down below. Don't forget to give a gentle tap on that like button if you got value from this content. Keep your eye on crypto, and we will see you on the next one.